Welcome everyone to another video. Greg Ferris back here at Ferris for Fitness. So today I just have my deadlift footage for you guys and also all of my accessory work. So I'll be talking through this long video. So this was my one of my warm-up sets at 185, just pulling a triple here. I was feeling really, really, really good today in the gym. Um, life's going well and that just helps me push it a little bit harder. So I, I hit really good numbers today. This was a great workout. Um, so here we are with the first set of 531. If you're not familiar with 531, you need to watch my other videos and get familiar. I've had pretty good success with it. Again, just kind of working my way up here in my first set. My form's looking really good on sumo deadlift. I think this is like my third month now doing sumo deadlift. The second month just doing it pretty much exclusively. I've cut out conventional. And I think it's just the best way for me to pull. So again, here 250. This 250 it felt a little heavy, but you know I hit it for five. It wasn't crazy. I was really working on getting kind of the mental mind state for that final set, that all-out set, if you will. So see, I mean, it wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy five, but again, I upped my weight 15 pounds this month instead of the normal 10, just because I feel like I'm just a little bit stronger with sumo. So, so here it is, my final set. I did hit eight. So, you know, I always go for 10 reps. I always go for dub reps on fives a week, which is 10. But um, I went I went for eight. You know, was, again, that 250 was feeling pretty pretty heavy. So I was, you know, shooting for shooting for eight. And again, watching this video, I probably had one or two left in me. But again, I do more work after this. So it isn't my only three sets. And it's more than five. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And this is definitely a PR for me. So can't be can't be too picky about that, you know. PR is a PR. Like I said, this is a great workout overall. And I believe this might be my last rep here. Get my form. I just feel like everything's a lot tighter here. I guess I got one more in me. I don't really feel anything in my lower back. Of course, it's just wrecking my glutes and my hamstrings, which is really what I'm trying to bring up as far as my legs. I'm trying to bring everything up, of course, but as far as legs, definitely the posterior chain. So then, again, familiar with my program, I followed it up today. With just three sets, I try to do three to four sets, four to six reps at 80% of whatever that that um, lift is, particular lift of my main movements. Today I just hit three sets. You know, it's really hard to hit four good, good, heavy sets after after that all-out set. So I'm still uh, really satisfied with how these went today. I pulled a set of five and then two sets of six. I try to get some different angles here to kind of critique my form and whatnot. Again, 290, so this isn't crazy, but this is heavy for me, and you know, 80%. And again, they're, they're feeling really good. I feel like my form was tight on all of them. Here's a different side shot. I wanted to get uh, an angle, because I do do a one overhand, one underhand grip, whatever you want to call it. So the angle is a little bit different for me on on this side, but I feel like my form is still pretty good, you know? Uh, any, if anyone got any suggestions for me, I'm always open to things. I'm not open to everyone just being a form Nazi, but if you if you generally have a comment you think can help, I'm open for that. So again, I believe my again you can't really see from this angle. The next set, my final set is pretty good from the direct side. My boy Shane helped me out today. We did a great leg workout. He's a really good training partner by the way, which is so hard to find. Everyone's just soft and it's annoying, but he's awesome to train with. So this is my final set here. So as far as looking at the back, I feel pretty good. I feel like I've, I've kind of got out where I where I need to put my eyes. I still need to think about maybe get a little bit lower, maybe pulling with my hands a little bit first, but definitely feel like my form's improving and my strength's improving, so I can't complain about that. And again, this was a great set for six. Trying to hit, trying to hit some heavy sets after that last one's no no easy task, but uh, hit it today. Great, great workout. Me taking 15 seconds in between a rep. This is like cardio for me. This is my version of cardio because I'm just so out of shape right now. I actually have a resting heart rate that's 40, I think. So it says something about what lifting weights does. So that was all for, for deadlifts. Here we go. So here's some of the assistance, assistant stuff I really wanted to show you guys. So again, you see on the screen, single leg dumbbell split squat. I do not see a lot of people doing this. And I love this movement as a quad movement on deadlift day. You're obviously getting the benefit of working each leg isolaterally 
Um, and you can also go pretty heavy. I was using 65s for 6 to 8 today. Here's my boy Shane. So Shane was getting in with me today. Getting good form. Uh, pretty simple. I'm not going to like tell people how to do this form. Look it up um, from someone that's smarter than I am. But it's a great exercise. I've been having it on my, for my last few deadlift days. Going pretty heavy on it for a strength movement. Assistance, assistant movement on, on strength days for deadlift. I really like it. Uh, Brett Contreras was one of the main reasons why I decided to do this. So again, my training is, is changing a little bit. I would say I'm more going towards a little bit more of the powerlifting stuff. You know, I'm still focused on hypertrophy, but I feel like there's definitely things to learn from how powerlifters train as well. Uh, so that was it for those. Again, 65s. So that was kind of my main quad movement for the day. Then we went on to the assistance isolation hamstring work. So again, we worked the hamstring from the hip with the deadlifts, the sumos, and now we're working it from the knee. This is pretty much the only isolation hamstring machine that our recreation center has, but it's awesome. I love this, this seated hamstring machine. Some tips here, make sure you try to hold that contracted position. See at the bottom how I kind of pause. Uh, that really helps to feel it. Again, it's a strength day, but I still stay 10 to, 10, 10 to 12 reps because it's an isolation movement. And again, just trying to progressive overload like always, but nothing special here. It's a machine isolation movement. It's pretty self-explanatory, but definitely trying to bring up the hamstrings. So I feel like these are a little more important than maybe like a leg extension is for me. Another thing you could do here is like a lion leg curl too. Kind of anything working from the knee. Then we moved on to standing calf raises. Uh, typically do three to five sets here. So we went to four again. With these, make sure you're stopping using no momentum at the bottom. You see a full stop, full contraction there, and then slow, one, two, three. I could even go slower on the way down. And again, pretty heavy here, six to eight. Most people train their calves, and that's, you know, 30 to 40 rep range. I wonder why they don't see growth. You know, train them heavy. You know, if you want to do one, six to eight, and next time do 10 to 15, that's fine. Make sure you get some heavy work in there. And I also recommend throwing in calves kind of in the middle of your leg workouts as opposed to the dead end because then you're kind of just like wiped out. So I usually throw it in after a quad and a hamstring movement. So then the final lift we had today were hack squats. This is kind of my version, my gym's version of hack squats. It's not like a true weight loaded. It only goes up to 410. And this was my final set today. I did like one at 350, 370, and I went for 400 because I was just feeling good. And this was a grinder set. Um, only three sets we did here. We just did three sets on all of our assistance work today since the deadlifts for, for quite a bit. And again, with the single leg movements, you can typically get away with a little bit, little bit less volume since you're working each leg isolaterally. But I really like this movement as well on deadlift days for an assistance movement. I, I'm not a big fan, at least for me, squatting two times a week and also deadlifting. It's kind of a lot. So I've decided just to focus on squats on squat days and do a set accessory quad movement and then focus on you know deadlifts on deadlift days obviously so this was this is like a minute and a half set it took me so long but I was really proud of this um coming out of the rack I thought like I was trying to hit six because that first rep was just so rough uh, if you guys could see my face here you'd be making fun of me but uh, it was hurting uh, yeah I got 10 reps there definitely a, a PR for me I think 400 pounds for 10 reps and it can't go any higher so I'm just kind of Working my way up there, those kind of increase the reps. Then we moved on to ab stuff. Believe it or not, I do attempt to train my abs, even though they suck. So again, three three sets of two different movements. Usually, what I stick with. I really like this movement. Again, it's more of a functional kind of thing instead of just you know crunches or whatever. So I'm trying to incorporate a, a few different things. Honestly, with me, it's just doing something for my abs, and I, I like these. Again, I think it helps with a little bit just core too. I feel a little bit strengthened in my lower back. So uh, the 8 to 12 rep range for me is just kind of, it works for me. What I mean, so if, if 8 to 12 is easy for you, then do more than that. Again, I like about three sets here. Cause I usually do about two different ab movements at the end of my workout. So I really like this movement though. It's, it's pretty challenging. And I think I have, look at that tricep. That's Shane. That, that tricep is popping right there. So yeah, Shane hit with me today. A good, we had a great workout session, like hour and a half of just blissful like training. It was, it was insane. Then the last one. This is definitely unique. I'm pretty sure most people don't do this. So standing band crunch. I have no idea what to call this. I will link the video if I can find it from the Elite FTS. 
I recommend following that channel, by the way, Elite FTS. Subscribe to them on YouTube. It's kind of a powerlifting channel, but I definitely f I found this on their on their channel talking about just you know some functional core stuff. So I'm always looking for new ab stuff. So that's the video, guys. My full leg training today. Again, deadlifts, dumbbells, uh, split squat. Uh, we did all that stuff. So if you guys like the video, make sure you like it. Maybe I'll try to get more long stuff in. And until then, take care, guys.